G'day everyone, Turbo Tristan here. In today's video, we've got a visitor, we've got Nauki, and we're back on the Integra. And we've got a whole bunch of parts, all top shelf stuff that we're gonna go through, tell you all about in just a second. All right guys, it's been a couple of weeks since we've been on VTEG, but we've got a whole bunch of parts. Nauki's here today, Nauki's the owner of the car. Hi guys. And, uh, He's been wanting a turbo Honda for quite a while. We've got some news about the engine, some news about some parts, some new sponsors, and we're gonna go through all of that now. So before we get started, shout out to James Goodchap. He is a good chap. He actually reached out and gave us a free manifold. However, the B18C2 is a little bit different to other B18s, which I'm learning. Uh, so we couldn't actually use that, but thanks for being a good chap anyway, James. And a second shout out is to Thomas Saar from TNT Garage. He reached out, he actually had a Skunk 2 74 millimeter throttle body, a uh, legit one, and a legit Skunk 2 manifold. I've taped that off because we're gonna paint this and I've already had in the bead blaster, cleaned it up and port matched the inside to the throttle body. So that's gonna be awesome. Save us heaps of mucking around with that factory intake manifold with the butterflies. We'll just move that on and move on to bigger and better things. And uh, Raceworks has also jumped on board. Uh, this is just one of many boxes. We have a whole shelf over there full of Raceworks hoses, fittings, injectors. Uh, we've even got the 530 Warbro fuel pump. That's the same one I run in my VL and my case swap. So this is all of the fuel. That's all from Raceworks. Elusive, just around the corner. We've got their Ramhorn manifold. That stuff is in stock on the shelf from those guys, so that was really handy. Whole bunch of other parts to freshen up the sensors, uh, the ignition system, all that sort of stuff. Facebook Marketplace Honda ECU. So that's going in the car as well. First time using that. We just don't have it in the budget for a Haltech, but maybe one day, but for now, Honda will do. Now he's gone for the stage four competition clutch and we'll be running that uh, with a stock flywheel, machined of course, all from Elusive Racing. Go for it. Alrighty, so this is my uh, 95 Honda Integra. I've had it for about, for around five years I would say. I bought it off a, a grandma. Uh, many years ago, before all the COVID prices, so I bought it real cheap. Um, it was very bone stock when I first got it. And being like a 19 year old, I just riced the hell out of it, just put all cosmetic stuff on it and really neglected the, uh, the engine part of it. And so now we're, you know, many years later, we're uh, re refreshing everything and putting a turbo on it. So I'm very excited to see how it goes. What are your, what are your goals uh, for the car once it's turboed? I think I just want a nice weekender. Um, I want to make some decent power to keep up with obviously Rex and Lockie and all that and Nathan, you know, they've got some, you know, high, ho uh, high kilowatt cars. So, you know, I felt a bit left out being the only NA one. So I didn't really want to get rid of the, the, the Teggy quite yet. So I thought, you know, we're twisting around, might as well send it, uh, slap a turbo on it and then keep up with those boys. But yeah, something around the 200 kilowatts, I'd be more than happy with just putting around. So when Tristan first told me about the build, you know, I was excited to uh, turbo the car, but never did I think we'd get a Garrett sponsor, which is insane to me. So shout out to you guys, got the Garrett. Keen to see this thing, you know, spool up and dose in my tag. It's gonna sound crazy. I can't wait to hear it like dose and hit VTEG and screamer. It's gonna be crazy. Over to bench cam and we'll unbox the things that I'm really excited for, now he's really excited for, and that is the Garrett stuff. So having Garrett on board is an absolute game changer for the channel. We've never had anything this amazing before. These are some big ticket items, but they are the best of the best in the world. All the top cars always run a Garrett, and we are very fortunate. Big shout out to Jazz from MTQ Dandenong for hooking us up. Uh, she has been a blessing and hopefully we'll be working with MTQ in Dandenong heaps more in the future. This is just the beginning. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video, share it with your friends. The more you guys do that, the more people see this, the more we get support from these big brand name companies like Raceworks, like MTQ and like Garrett. So let's get into this. 
very excited. All right, so we'll start off small. We'll start with the huge wastegate. So not really small. This is a 45 mil wastegate, same size I have on my K-Swap. And uh, first time using, this is a brand new product for Garrett. And we've got the Garrett 45 mil wastegate. This one comes with a bunch of different springs. We'll probably put one of the lighter springs in uh, for this build because uh, we don't want to blow it up. The block won't be CSS sleeved and we'll be running the stock pistons. I am in talks with another sponsor to try and get some rods for the engine and we're gonna do bearings and head studs and head gaskets. So um, probably make this baby pump out between seven and 12 PSI. I think we'll make plenty of power in the TEG. Now we're getting to the fun stuff. We'll start with the rear housing. This is the heavy one. This is cast uh, steel. We've got a V-band exhaust. We've got a V-band outlet and we have a 0.83 rear housing. As we get further into the build, we're gonna do a full rundown on these turbos. As we get further into the build, we'll do a full rundown on this turbo, what it's capable of and what its rev ranges are, boost ranges and power band uh, details are. But for today, we're just gonna unbox everything and show you the goodies because honestly, we're too excited. We just have to open up presents. So uh, there's the V-band clamps for the rear. And uh, one thing you're probably not aware of is uh, when you order a turbo from Garrett, you get to choose the flange size. So this is a T3. You get to choose the AR rating of the exhaust housing. So this one here, yes, it is a 0.83. Everything's nicely machined and finished. And you have to assemble it. And the reason for that is there's a lot of different configurations. So you can go a big rear housing with a T4 or a T5 or even a T28 style flange and match that with different size compressor covers or whatever your application is. So we spoke to the guys at Garrett Direct. They recommended this turbo for the B18 engine. So we trust them and uh, we're gonna see what this baby can do. Over to the actual turbo. And this is the new G series. So this is the freshest of the fresh, best of the best. And it comes very well packaged, all foam in place and everything. So we'll just move this to the side. And it comes with all the fittings already fitted. We are gonna run water cooling on this turbo because it is a premium turbo we're going to really look after it that's already been finished up and done we've got the whistle mod on the front which is going to make all the sick turbo sounds uh, this one's nice and compact with a three inch inlet so we'll be able to run a nice intake on this and get everything out of the road the pipes will be able to go around each other and it's just going to fit a lot better in the engine bay. Be back in a moment. I'm just going to put these two together so we can test fit them on the engine. Just like that, the G series is put together and uh, just a matter of doing up a V band. It's all still loose. We can spin and clock the housings however we need them to go, uh, whether we need top mount or low mount, or whether we want this to come out the top or the bottom, we can do that. So it's loose for now. We're gonna stick it on the manifold and uh, trial it over on the engine to see how much room and clearance we've got. Turbo is now on the manifold, looking awesome. And so is the 45 millimeter Garrett wastegate. Just dummied on there for now, but we're gonna get Nauki to do the honors and put the turbo on the engine for the first time and uh, see what it looks like, we'll mock it up. Nice and heavy. Nice and heavy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, slide it over the dipstick, that's it. Chuck a couple of nuts on there. This actually weighs quite a lot. Nuts on. Let's check this bad boy out. Now we actually 
have a lot more room here to rotate the turbo. Uh, other turbos on the market are quite big in the front where they don't need to be. The Garrett's designed to be as responsive as possible. And with the billet wheel inside there and the way the compressor housing is designed, as well as the exhaust side, which is what spins the turbo, able to have a nice compact fitment, but giving the benefits of a gigantic turbo in a small frame. We've got heaps of space here. We don't need to trim the block like we've done in other builds. Uh, nicely packaged and having the V-band there means we can get a nice tight bend off there. We don't have a flange and then a weld and then a pipe coming off. We can just go straight to the V-band and immediately start turning. You can see inside the turbo exhaust outlet, that's nice and uh, scalloped and that comes out to a three inch exit. So we'll be able to run three inch piping from there and it's gonna have still have a pretty tight radius, but we'll probably come out sort of this way towards the front of the car. And uh, this is where the air con goes. And I think it is a safe bet that we won't be able to run that. I'm sure um, turbo noises outweigh air conditioning. Yes sir, definitely, definitely. And this will all be worth it in the end. Uh, we've still got to drill some holes in the rocker cover, get rid of this little uh, wimpy port, put some dash eight or dash 10 fittings in there, I haven't decided yet, and paint everything up once that's all done. The reason for doing this video is we just wanted to show you guys all the exciting parts we've got from our channel supporters. Uh, I wanted to unbox them with Nauki here because it's an exciting thing, plus it's his car at the end of the day and it's only right that he should be here when we go through those parts. In the future, I am gonna take the head off and do the valve stem seals that way. I did buy a bunch of tools, pressurize the cylinder, and pop everything off, but I just cannot get the valve stem seals out with the tools I have with the head still on without potentially damaging a valve. And that is a very important. We don't want even the slightest bend in there because these things are gonna be spinning to 8,000 RPM, maybe more. We want them perfectly straight. So I'll take the head off, give everything a clean, do the valve stem seals. We're gonna do head studs, MLS gasket, Put that back together. With any luck, we'll get some forged rods in here and then we'll have those to match with the ACL race bearings. This thing is gonna be very close to bulletproof and should make tons and tons of power between 300 and 400 horsepower at the wheels quite easily. That's gonna be a handful. Not only will we be able to keep up with the boys, you'll be able to smoke them boys. Smoke the Chasers, smoke the Sylvias. They're all dead, they're all gonna die. We're gonna chop them all in both the Hondas and they'll be selling those cars in no time and getting Hondas. That's where we're at with this. Really, really excited to be working with Garrett. This is a game changer, people. Cannot wait. And again, shout out to uh, Thomas from TNT for the manifold and throttle body. And we're gonna go through and deep dive into all the Raceworks parts, the fuel injector sizing. We're gonna change the fuel pump. We're gonna show you how to do all of that. That's coming up in future episodes. We're gonna run some lines in the engine bay, set up catch can, all that sort of stuff coming in a future episode. So if you love B-Series and you wanna see this thing make a ton of boost with the best parts possible, Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. See you guys.